That's how I learned about why I showed you Gamma, which puts together presentations because yes. I'm getting around people that are yes. doing things that are cutting edge, smart, and then I take what I've learned from them and then I implement. Because if you don't implement, you're not going to get any advantage of just learning. You can't just sit there and learn. You have to actually go out and implement and go, okay, how can I actually use the strategy to be successful? If you would have studied residential assisted living and you wouldn't have bought your first one, you would have never done it. Or if you wouldn't yeah. have learned about multifamily, you would have totally. never bought your first deal. And if you would have never learned about syndication, you would have never totally. raised a dollar. So like we have to take these steps and you have to jump in yeah. and do it. And that's the only way you're going to get ahead. <clears throat> and if you're one of those people that has less, less that's than a thousand dollars in your account right now, you guys got to take massive action. Even mm -hmm. if that requires you bootstrapping some kind of home service business, that's what I would be doing right now. Like, I would be relentless. And even to this day, I go, I'm behind where I wanted to be financially for me. And so I need to be relentless <clears throat> to get to where I want to go. And so if you're not, then you're probably not going to hit your goals. You hit the nail on the head, but what you're saying is action. We can feel bad about the situation we are in and we can be looking at it in the last five years nothing changed and last one year nothing changed and i'm in a worse situation or i'm just degrading i'm stressed out and this and that but you got to take action you got to learn you got to be open-minded finding time to learn the skills and get information so that you could also too place. you got to stay hard <laughs> i would say for Vinny, right because yeah. now life's a little bit more easy than it was for him go back to when you were five or six years old <laughs> and you were living in you were living in an apartment <laughs> oh, with 11 people and it was a one, one bedroom, bedroom it was like 350 yes. square feet you had one bathroom for all these people yes but you had no money, like yeah. your life has changed, but I would go back to that pain. And that's why I do think mm -hmm. if you look at when people come to our country, immigrate here from places like India, it seems like they excel yeah. because they didn't have it as easy as somebody that was born in America. And so I think mm -hmm. people get soft because it's easy and they don't have to do much. If you look on social media right now, everybody's complaining about the Olympics and this and that. You know what? Like, guys, go out and do something. You're, you got too much time on your hand and your life's too simple. And you're complaining because you, you, don't, you haven't done anything yeah. with your life because you're too busy fixated on what everybody else is doing. So I just think about that. Like, I think about, okay, this guy came, this guy lived in one, one bedroom apartment with 11 people. Like, I won't even, I won't even share a bathroom with people. Like, I'm picky, right? And so <laughs> I think we have to put things in perspective. You were telling me the stock market, you get crushed. You lost several hundred thousand dollars, maybe yet in the last day or two, which is very painful. But if you really look at mm -hmm. like your life versus yeah. somebody that comes from a third world country that can barely get fresh drinking water, yeah. right? Like it all, it's all perspective and it's also it's layers too. Like I was just thinking about it. Like I was like, yeah, I can make a lot of money doing this franchise business. And then I'm like, then I started thinking about people that created software, right? SaaS, right? So there's levels to financial freedom. So I'm like, what about the guy that I invested in ConvertKit, which is what I use for my newsletter. And I think I pay like maybe a hundred uh, bucks a month yep. or more for that. And then I'm like, how many users mm -hmm. do they have? And they have 600,000 users or something crazy like that. So if uh, you look at somebody like that, mm -hmm. You know what, that that business is probably worth a, a billion dollars, right? Because membership SaaS type of businesses can sometimes trade at a 20, 20 times multiplier. So we all have our perspectives. Mm -hmm. So Vinny, you had a perspective when you lived in this little apartment. Now you have a different perspective. 